Good day to all. I am delighted to welcome all of you to the UE Roytech's first Exceptional Teaching Awards. Like UE Roytech, the University of the West Indies is committed to providing a dynamic, student-centered learning environment in which student learning is pursued as a primary goal. Our intent is to prepare gra graduates who are independent learners, problem solvers, logical, inquiring, who are creative thinkers, team workers, and with well-developed skills for self-directed lifelong learning. To produce this type of graduate, it is an absolute imperative that excellence in teaching is recognized and rewarded. This serves to motivate and bring out the very best among our educators. And this therefore, my friends, is the rationale for the inaugural exemplary teaching awards exercise, the first at UE Roy Tech, and the UE Guardian Group Premium Teaching Awards at the St. Augustine campus, which is now in its 21st year. Both seek to recognize, celebrate, and reward those members of faculty who provide exemplary models of the kind of tertiary level educator required to create the learning environment needed to mature the 21st century citizen. Through all that we do as educators, we must create the much needed game changers and the shifters of well-established paradigms. And make no mistake about it, the pandemic has made it clear, crystal clear, that we need to be prepared to shift long-held traditions to shift the very paradigms that define our society. The young graduates of the programs we teach must adjust and adapt much more quickly than ever before, if they are to survive. Our more mature graduates will have the more difficult task of de-learning and reskilling as job markets change in the post-COVID world. In order to meet these demands, we too as educators must also adapt and change our pedagogy to ensure that our graduates are appropriately equipped. Already we are seeing the move away from the degree-based programs delivered over the course of years to shorter, more intense formats, to shorter term certificates and micro-credentialing programs, all designed to meet the rapidly changing demand in the workforce overseas. Here at home with our relatively minuscule population, these opportunities may not be as readily available given the size of the job market. Part of the solution we have opined, is for us to ensure that our graduates are prepared for as many eventualities as possible, including the option of more aggressively engaging in entrepreneurship, hopefully to forge a new economy based on a much larger SME sector. But even then, we have to be prepared for even more change consequent not just to the, pan to the pandemic, and hopefully we'll be spared another for a very long time but also the impact of climate change and other looming natural disasters. These have the potential to threaten the one lifeline that we had during the past year, the digital systems that allowed us to continue to communicate during this time. I will speak more on this at a later date. The UE across its five campuses and its 10 global centers in partnership with universities in North America, Latin America, Asia, Africa, and Europe has been and continues to be a pivotal force in every aspect of Caribbean development. Certainly, as the UE St. Augustine campus celebrates its 60th anniversary, this calling is at the center of all our efforts to improve the well-being of people in the Caribbean region. This commitment of purpose has seen us ranked among the top universities of the world by the most reputable ranking agency, the Times Higher Education. Indeed, the UE is the only Caribbean-based university to be so recognized. Much has been said about these achievements and they won't be detailed any further here. What is most important at this point is for us to acknowledge that this international recognition speaks to our individual and collective strengths, wisdom, purpose, and achievements, and most significantly, our excellence in teaching, which, as is the case at UE Roy Tech, I'm sure, is a light to our students, making a difference in their lives and therefore in the lives of every citizen in this country and this region. And so I congratulate the UE Roy Tech for instituting these exceptional teaching awards and the nine members of faculty who chose to submit portfolio entries. I wish the three who will be announced as this year's winners 
all the very best. And I thank you.